on, over here. You're here, Mulani. Oh, and those strange scholars are here too. Good morning, you two. Morning. So when are we leaving? <laughs> Seems you're as excited as a child before the start of our journey. I just want to get down to business as soon as possible. You know this is no leisurely spring stroll, so I hope we can all act a little more professional. Don't worry, I'm a very professional guide. <clears throat> Our journey to the mysterious island has officially begun. Yay! First, do you all see the statue here? Uh-huh. Is it an important clue? Well, no, it's not a clue at all. He was the first chief of the people of the Springs who came back from the mysterious island and set up this place. It's a monument. The first thing we need to do before we set off is to touch the statue and pray to our ancestors. This will make our journey to the mysterious island smoother. Is there any theoretical basis to support that claim? A theoretical basis? No, but my teacher taught me it's an essential step before heading to the mysterious island. <sighs> Very good. You didn't try to argue with me over something that you aren't knowledgeable about. That's very professional. Sure, but since this practice doesn't have an empirical basis, I won't be able to include it in my thesis. Come on, everyone. Greetings to my ancestors. As your descendant, I'm about to follow in your footsteps and witness your accomplishments. Allow me to depart under your gaze, and return under your protective watch. It really feels like we're about to embark on a great adventure! Now, please get ready. We're going to look for the first clue. Speaking of which, where should we look for the clue? <laughs> At a place where many gather. Like a party! There aren't benefits to a life of wandering.
Treasure is concerned.
you're scared, just leave. As expected, the first clue is related to the Kohola source. When people from outside the tribe get a copy of the map, most can deduce that the first clue is related to the Kohola source. When the first chief created the map, he left a special mark for this part. It's a code that the tribe uses to indicate a herd of them. So it'll be impossible to gain any leads from just finding one or two stray Kohola source. You're a real pro at this, Mulani. But according to the information I've been able to find, Kaholosaurs don't like gathering as herds unless it's to compete for the hot springs. So let me tell you a secret that only a guide from the people of the springs would know. It so happens that wild Kaholosaurs periodically gather in the valley up ahead. It's almost like how our tribe gathers together for festivals. Still, as soon as the season changes, the herd quickly disperses again. Unless you're a guide who's always running across Natlan, it would be very rare to ever- This is a thing? I need to note this down right away and include an explanation as a part of my thesis. According to what I've deciphered from the map, a clue is hidden deep in that valley. But to get there, won't we have to get through the herd of Koholosaurs? Hmm... We'll have to think of a way to sneak past without startling them. They're gathering together You mean we're going to have to walk through the Kaholosaur herd? <clears throat> Given we've agreed to work together, everyone should do their part. However, Karia has been attacked by Kaholosaurs before, so this isn't an ideal plan for her. But... It shouldn't be a problem at all for me. Let's have Karia wait here, and I'll take over all the tasks that were supposed to be entrusted to her. <laughs> no worries. We don't need everyone to go. We actually need someone to stay and look after the luggage, so we'll leave that to you two. Traveler, Paimon, please come with me. Is that so? Then that works out perfectly. And now I understand how much you care for your assistant scholar. Follow me, and stay close. Oh no, we've been spotted. Let's back off and try again. These Kaholosaurs sure seem on guard. We'll never get through. Kevin, you've already used the information provided by the map to deduce that the clue is in that valley. Why don't you simply chase them away? You're pretty strong, aren't you? First of all, the elders of the tribe have always warned us to never hurt the Koholosaurs. Doing so will almost certainly bring bad luck. And secondly, you can't just show up and intrude on others' gatherings, much less make them leave. But on what basis? Okay. So can we figure out another way to enter the valley? <sighs> there must be a way to enter the valley without startling them. It'd take a while for me to come up with a solution on my own, so I'd like to ask everyone to help come up with some ideas. Let Paimon think. Oh, is- According to the map, the clue is right in the middle of the Koholosaur herd. Even if we try to approach from the other side, we'll just run into the same problem. Hmm, this is tricky. Karia, I've noticed that you only talk when you're trying to help smooth things over between Varamdra and the others. I'm sure you must have some ideas of your own, so why don't you share them with us? Me? All right. When Varamdra decided to look for leads on the Koholosaurs, I wanted to help. I discovered something very interesting. We thought that the Koholosaurs relied on their hearing to track their prey, but they also possess a very- But I'm not sure how useful that information is. Oh. Oh, that was actually very useful, Miss Karia. You can just call me Karia. 
In that case, please stay here and keep an eye on the luggage. Traveler, Paimon, come with me. I've got an idea. to making our way through the herd. If the Koholosaurs have a keen sense of smell, then even if we try to sneak around and stay, but this plant can help us solve that problem. Because it's fragrance, we can apply the plant's extract to our bodies and trick their sense of smell. So we're gonna rub? Don't worry, it's also good for your skin. Oh, Paimon feels all wet and slimy. Perfect, okay. Let's try to make our way through again. Follow me and stay close. Be sure to stay out of sight! That sound. Careful. Oh, it's just a young Koholosaur. Don't worry, this little one doesn't pose any danger. Follow me and stay close. Careful. Don't startle them. Follow me, and stay close. Oh no, we've been spotted. Let's back off and try again. Be sure to stay out of sight. Follow me and stay close. Careful, don't startle them. Let's hope you put up a good fight. Trust and rebuild! Yeah. Shine down! <laughs> don't blink! our way through Be 
be sure to stay out of sight. Follow me and stay close. What's that sound? Careful! Oh, it's just a young Kaholosaur. Don't worry, this little one doesn't pose any danger. Follow me, and stay close. Follow me, and stay close. We must be getting close. Look! A bunch are gathering around that rock! What? Hmm. Maybe when things start to get boring, they gather together and talk about something fun? <laughs> uh, but Paima thought guides from the people of the springs could understand? Sounds like someone has been trying to trick you. True, they were definitely trying to scam us. Uh, huh? Do you see that on the rock? It looks like some- I've heard that there is a type of moss that changes color when it reacts to the biological signals released by Koholosaurus. But to trigger that sort of reaction, you'd need a huge number of Koholosaurus. That must be the clue! Should we take a picture? Oh, the flash might disturb them. Let me try to copy it down. So we've passed the first stage of the journey now, right? I see. Had we chosen to drive the Koholosaurus off, then we never would have found this lead. Has he always been this way, Miss Karia? He's just obsessed with his research. That's all. At least this has shown that my judgment is correct. I've proven my trustworthiness. And so, there should be no need for us to argue- Yes, I understand. And I suppose that'll help us avoid wasting time. Mulamani really knows how to lead our group! Next, we'll need to use the lead we found to uncover our next destination. Now, what does this pattern represent? Hard to tell. Paimon certainly doesn't have any idea what it's trying to get at. Aha! I got it! Though the lines are kinda rough, I can still see that they represent the boundaries between the water and the land at Jade Skirt Knoll. We can find our next destination. Really? You got all that just from some rough lines? Well, intuition is also a part of it. Maybe I've just seen too many maps as a guide, and now it's easier for me to pick up on- Alright, break time is over. Let's get ready to move.